Good day, everybody. How are we doing? This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about hypothesis test for two means with unknown population standard deviations. So I will share my screen with you. Hypothesis test for difference in the population means. Problem, two catalysts are being analyzed to determine how they affect the mean yield of a chemical process. Let mu1 and mu2 denote the mean yield by using catalyst one and two respectively. On the basis of random samples of size 10 from each process, the following data were recorded. X1 bar is 30, X2 bar is 40, S1 square is three and S2 square equal to four. Here X1 bar is the mean of sample one, X2 bar, is the mean of sample two, S1 square is the variance of sample one, and S2 square is variance of sample two. At 5% level of significance, can we conclude that the population means are different? Assume the two populations are normally distributed with unequal population variances. Solution, since we do not know the population standard deviation, we will use a two sample T test, okay? so. X1 bar is equal to 30, S1 squared is equal to three. Therefore, S1 or the standard deviation is square root of three or 1.732, N1 is equal to 10. X2 bar is 40, S2 squared is equal to four. Therefore, S2 is square root of four, which is three and N2 equal to 10. Alpha is the level of significance is given as 0 0.05. Use TI 84 calculator. So we press the stat, then highlight test in the top row, then scroll down to two sample T test. Our null hypothesis is mu1 equal to mu2, alternate mu1 not equal to mu2. Two sample T test, input is on stats, x1 bar is 30, sx1 is 1.732, n1 is 10, x2 bar is 40, sx2 is 2, n2 equal to 10, and my alternate is mu1 not equal to mu2. Pulled is no. That means the population standard deviations are not equal. And then we bring the cards on calculate and hit enter. The test statistic T is minus 1.95, P is 6.87, E minus 10, exponent minus 10. Remember P value cannot be greater than one. So it cannot be 6.87. There has to be something at the end, which is E minus 10. That means the first digit six is at the, 10th place after the decimal. So it is zero point, then nine zeros and six. Therefore, P is less than alpha. Alpha is given as 0 0.05. If P is less than alpha, our decision is to reject H0. Conclusion at alpha equal to 0 0.05, there is enough evidence to support H1 because we have rejected H0. And the H1 is mu1 is not equal to mu2. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, please write me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, please press the like sign and please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. Thanks again and I will see you next time with a new problem and a new solution. Take care, have a nice day.